it's Meg welcome back to my channel so for today's junk journal with me we are going to be doing day 26 of the junk journal July challenge today's prompt is memento so this is a really nice prompt if you want to include little bits and pieces from your day maybe you've been on a day trip or you just have like tickets receipts souvenirs from your day it's a perfect way to use them in your junk journal. I think it's also a really popular thing as well to include within your journal anyway, but I actually didn't have anything to hand to use for this because, well, I was banking on having a cinema ticket actually. And obviously post COVID, they don't do physical cinema tickets anymore. So um, that was really sad. And I know if you're anything like me and you like collecting bits and pieces for your journal, it's a little bit sad when things are just digital um, but I didn't have chance to print it out because that is an alternative obviously you can um, print it out as well to, to have in your journal so I kind of had to improvise with this one and I included a bit of ephemera that was loosely related to memento but when I was thinking about this prompt and the different ways that you could interpret it um, I've been reading a lot of like stoicism stuff lately and thinking about the phrases in Latin like memento mori and stuff like that and so I, I actually ended up including one of those phrases in my journal just because it's like another way of taking the prompt memento and kind of showing you how you can think outside the box a little bit in terms of what to do for a prompt. So if you're into stuff like that, then here's another angle that you could definitely use for today's prompt. I don't know, even if you know nothing about stuff like this, you could use this as a way to kind of take notes on things. I, I love doing this in my commonplace book when I'm writing down different quotes and things I come across. And it's definitely something that you could also include within your junk journal if you want to do some writing, but maybe you don't want to do more of the diary kind of writing. Um, taking notes on things you're interested in, things you're learning is also another way to capture things from your day and almost save it as a little bit like a memento. I know that's kind of a stretch but I suppose in essence our journals are just one giant memento and kind of saving things from our life that are important or, or things that we come across. It's basically like a physical representation, like a creative expression of how we see the world and so anything I think that you choose to include within your journal almost becomes a bit of a memento because it speaks to what you like, your tastes at the time. You know, if you picked out a journal on your shelf from like two, three, four years ago, chances are things might be slightly different. Like you, you can probably still tell that your like style and things are, are similar, but maybe you've liked completely different things. And so that then becomes a little snapshot of your tastes and the things that you like so I just think it's really interesting and yeah I would encourage you to maybe think outside the box with this one if you're feeling a little bit stuck maybe you don't have any receipts and tickets and things like that to hand there's definitely other ways that you can interpret this prompt Days without water Along the sun so grown We cross over borders to get where we are and it's all for you it's all for you it's all for you it's all for you I did it all for you it's all for you it's all for you it's all for you nights without sleeping cause you fear the night and days without eating cause it ain't enough for two and it's all for you it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, I did it all for you, 
It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. everything that I did for today's page so I hope you enjoyed journaling along with me as always I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>